I sent Camira out to coordinate the city's defenses while Tharn and I continue to refine our strategy. Can we hold this city? Or should we fall back? I hope the battle mage can pull a miracle out of his ear, but we cannot count on that. Gamira knows Riverhold and its people well. Her training has prepared her for this. She is more than capable of organizing our defenses and converting our strategies into actionable tactics. She is very good at getting things done. When Euraxia first conquered our home, she occupied the entire upper tier of Northern Elsewhere, from Riverhold to Rimen. It took many years and much blood to retake the Northwest and confine her to Rimen. I have no doubt she will attack. It won't be easy, but our strategy is sound and Kamira excels at executing tactics. Between Captain Nalado's remaining warriors and the Desert Wind Adepts you brought, we should have the forces we need, provided Euraxia does not send a dragon. We need your cart to help barricade the city, Grishka. The main will compensate you for any damage. I knew nothing good would come of Abner Tarn's efforts to make peace with the Usurper Queen. Now she turns her attention to Riverhold. We must protect the city, no matter what Euraxia throws at us. So many have answered the call. Zamarak and the Desert Wind Adepts, the people of Riverhold. Even that strange Cadwell. And now you, Five Claw. Excellent! I have things that need to be done, but not enough hands to do them. If you are willing. The outlying farms are vulnerable to attack. We need to get the farmers inside the walls before Euraxia's forces arrive. Go to Greenleaf Farm and convince Zazi to move her family. After that, I will send word as to what I need you to do next. Wait, Walker. Zamarak will accompany you. This one would go with you to the Greenleaf Farm. The farmers there were kind when Zamarak passed that way on his return. He would help you convince them to find safety inside the town. Exile. Circumstances force Zamarak to leave the land he loves. This one never imagined returning to elsewhere. But here he is. Zamarak will help, though he prefers to utilize his healing skills over his martial abilities. Zamarak understands, but that may be easier said than done. The last time this one used his martial skills, well, things did not go well. We can discuss this more later. Now let us go help the farmers. The farm lies to the northwest of the town. The fastest way to reach the farm is through the gate in the western wall. Euraxians, here! We expected an attack from the east and south, but they've somehow encircled the town.
Get out! Who are you to burst into our home without permission? Wait, this one recognizes the brawny adept standing behind you. What do you want with Zazie and her family? The Euraxians are already here! They seem to be searching for something. Though so far, they have left us alone. But this one's mate and brother, Kinaro and Hirsch, they are still in the fields. And we will not run while our family remains separated. You... you would do that? Thank you, Walker. Kinaro would try to hide, but my brother, Hirsch, can be hot-headed. And he hates the Euraxians. A lethal combination when faced with Euraxian steel. Please, hurry. This one's son plans to join the militia. Zazi would rather keep him safe, but... Children never appreciate the advice of their elders, yes? A few small caves lie to the west, in the hills. We use them for storage as they stay cool and dark, even on the hottest days. I should be the one to search for father and uncle. Not the outsider. Hey! You'll do no such thing! you done enough? Zazi, is she safe? Thank John and Jude. Dark moons, what a disaster. The soldiers appeared and chased us out of the fields. Then they started digging. Hirsch threw a rock. They responded with an arrow. Now my mate's brother is dead. I heard one of the soldiers mention body parts. Such gruesome work. But no one is buried in our fields, at least as far as I know. Oh, Walker, I have no idea how Zazi will react to the news of Hirsch's death. Dark moons, indeed. This one will say the words to guide Hirsch to the sands behind the stars. Thank you, Adam. I'll go and break the sad news to Sazi.
all grieve for her. This smith. one's brother now walks the endless sands behind the stars. Zazi's sorrow is only eclipsed by the hatred she feels towards the Araxians. This one's brother would want us to stay here and defend our farm. Zazi would be a poor sister and a poorer matriarch of this family if she tucked her tail between her legs and slunk away. But... but... Uh, damn you, Walker! We can't even spare a moment to take care of Hersh's remains? No. The living are more important than the dead. We will go into the city. However, if this one gets killed anyway, she promises to haunt you. Ah, Five Claw, good. I have another task for you. I hoped to catch you before you were done here. I need you to head west. Nalado's scouts identified a number of Euraxian supply camps set up near the mountains. I want you to help Nalado and her soldiers disrupt the Euraxian supply lines. These western camps support the soldiers that encircle the city. Find the camps, startle their horses, and set fire to their wagons. Nalado's soldiers will grab whatever supplies they can, but your goal is to inflict mayhem and destruction. Once you scare off the horses and set fire to the wagons, that will be the signal for Nalado's soldiers to grab the supplies. And if any of the Euraxians complain, Feel free to deal with them however you see fit. Zumog Fum! He wants to resurrect the betrayer from the ancient tales of Kunzari. Ever since Abner Thorn made the Moonsingers recall those legends, we have been haunted by them. But that is the next problem. First, we must protect Riverhold. Do some damage, Five Claw. You were right, Five Claw. They are searching 